So let's talk a little bit about the sexist Olympic coverage. <laughs> I haven't been watching. I haven't watched. And when I was telling her the stories, you were like, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It, it, to, 2016, 2016, this is going on. And we started the feminist movement back in the, well, many, many years ago, but I was involved in the 70s, 70s, 80s, 90s, the odds. Well, in many ways, I think it's a sign because they're holding on so tightly, but you haven't seen any of the coverage. They're doing things like women are winning medals, and when they publish it in the paper, they say wife of oh blah, 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 wins bronze. They don't even use their own names. Or there was one where this woman wins the, the gold or whatever in swimming, and they cut to the husband who's cheering, and they go, oh, there's the man responsible. I can't get over this. I, it's no, you know, shame on NBC. And so, I, shame on NBC. I read this stat that said that if you're a female uh, no, athlete, no. they're three times less likely to talk about your athleticism. And what they talk about is your marital status, your age, and your appearance. Particularly the hair. You told me about the hair. Thing. Oh, and then they're making racist comments about the women of color that are on the Olympic team, the gymnasts, uh, gymnastics, criticizing their hair because it's kinky. It's shocking that you could still think that way. Well, I, you know, I was doing a, an on-camera thing for the Inquirer in the UK. The Guardian. The yeah. Guardian. Which is a big, like, that's the New York Times. Yeah, I love that. And it's a good newspaper. And I'm being interviewed by this woman, and we've got a woman behind the camera. Oh, women. Yep. So the three of us, <laughs> the three of us, are, so they're saying to me, uh, what was the one thing that was so was so fascinating? It was, she said, something, something, something. And then she's, oh, oh, no, and I answered, and I did my, you know, women are the first sex. And then, well, what about men? And I said, I don't give a shit about men. And I hope it goes on camera. <laughs> I really do. Because we've got to get over this. We've got to get beyond it. it. This is ridiculous. Well, what I love is that social media, people went crazy Good. on Twitter. Like, oh, a female, she doesn't have a name. She wins an Olympic medal and you don't get your name in the paper. <sighs> so uh, the outrage and like no one's watching the Olympics and they don't understand why. Good. All the commentators Good. are old men. If I was NBC, I would have hired a slate of super young, social media savvy, multicultural, you know, half yeah, women, yeah. half men people, and take and had some real good conversation and let go of all this crap. They're living in the past. They can't. They can't make the adjustment. And we know when you talk mm -hmm. about uh, uh, evolution that if you can't adjust, you die. And I think that's what's happening. I mean, network television, no one watches it. We all watch Netflix. I don't watch television. I haven't had my television set on since I got Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> so I get my information from, from the Internet. Because you can pull it, not have it pushed to you. And for entertainment, I mean, forget it. it Netflix. Well, why do we like Netflix? Because we can w r watch things like Jessica Jones. We want to watch... Are they doing a, a, a thing? Yes, a yes. Okay. So they're doing a new season, but like we want to watch things with female protagonists that are portrayed as thinking, strong individuals, yeah. not just women in jeopardy. And I think that's true of all people because basically. it's popular. Yeah, that's what people want. If we're talking about democracy and even profit appeals, like what do people want? What will they pay for? They're not going to do it. They don't want to watch misogyny. They don't want to watch it's, it's racism. It's like enough. So... If they don't adjust, they will die out. It's like, you know, evolution. Well, on the eve of having a female president, on the eve of Roger Ailes getting kicked out of Fox News. Oh, I was so happy. That. <laughs> oh, that was so wonderful. That nasty old man. Oh. Well, God, you he's... just, you know, you can look at these men and you see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now I'm getting all these questions from these young women about, you know, first time partner sex, how awful it is. And I feel sorry for these young men because they want to do better. But we have to give them the information and they still continue to block it. They're blocking the, and it's mostly the men who are in control that are blocking this information because they want to watch their porn. We're going to unblock it. We are, we are unblocking yeah, it. Yeah. And it makes me really bullish. Like seeing something that, that's that flagrant makes me feel good because everyone goes, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what the what, fuck? They're doing this now? <laughs> it's, you know, and it's like, 
people are moving on. We've moved on as a culture. And so yeah. I'm really excited to be, you know, raising yeah. the child now. Yeah. You know, because I know he doesn't feel that way. He won't feel he won't, that way. He won't. No, he won't. He won't. And a lot of, the, and I mean, this is. The so change. how does it feel as a second wave feminist to finally see this happen? Maybe it's because it's, the battle has gone on so long. I'm, I'm, I have battle fatigue and I really don't. Hang see, up the sword. <laughs> Let's I go. do not see enough progress to make me feel good. Sorry. Well, but there is. How are we going to end this? we got to end it in a way that's exciting okay. and not like everything sucks. So, Well, it's like you asked me how I feel about, you know, all of these things happening. And I'm saying, I can't see it happening. I still see us stuck in the same place. But according to social media, which you keep me in touch with, that's where it's happening. Yes. The youth. It's always the youth. Finally. Finally. All right, kids, just get it together because it's a whole new ball game. Equality is terrifying to both sexes. It is. It's a big demand. Get with it.